you can't touch my back But you could, I look fly, I look too good Hey babes, I'm back in the same setting Yep, I'm about to drop y'all with a two-piece Cause y'all ain't see me And I gotta give y'all updates about my dating life Um So if y'all saw my last one I talked about how I dated outside my race for a short period of time. Go watch that if y'all haven't seen it because it's interesting. Like, it's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, but it's interesting. You might have a few questions that you can drop in the comments. Go ahead and do that. But let's talk about this dating person or this dating experience. Why, y'all, why am I smiling so hard? Why? Yeah, he got me. He got me in the chokehold. Um, I've known this person, and he's he's black. I've known this person since my U of M days, and it's just been on and off, on and off, on and off. Like we've never really officially dated until like this year. I've known him for a while. And I feel like the time has like finally came for me to really kind of, for us to kind of pursue one another. So, he is, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna watch this y'all. Why am I smiling so hard? He's gonna watch this and he'll be like, oh, so. I made it to your YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Okay, so he's definitely like outside of my comfort zone. He's an up and coming artist. Um, he like, yes, I know y'all. Don't, don't start. Don't start. <laughs> don't start. Don't start. I don't want to hear it. Just put it in the comments. He's an up-and-coming artist. Um, yep. I'm not... Yep. And I've been... I've had a little thing for him since the U of M days. Yep. Yep. I have. Unfortunately, I have. Um, but, you know, things just didn't come about. And now that we're kind of like officially dating, it's good. I be trying my best, y'all, to not be like all smiley and blushing around him, but I just can't help it. Then he got, then the, it's the car, it's the tattoos, it's the corniness, it's me being so comfortable around him. It's like, hmm, but here's here's the kicker. He does not know like what he really wants. So he's dating openly. I'm dating openly. I don't have anything against that at all. It's just that I'm like, ooh wee. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. And you should not do that. But I want to date him exclusively. But we haven't been talking. We haven't been dating long enough to even get to that point. But it's just, y'all. I was not expecting. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> y'all, do not judge me. I was not expecting to be like this. I was not expecting to be smiling this much. I was, ex like, when I first started talking to him, I was like, yeah, whatever. I don't like you anyway. Like, you know how women be playing hard, knowing doggone well they want that man. And that's what I've been doing. I'm still doing it, even, like, we dating him. I'm like, mm-mm. I don't want you like that no way. Like, I don't like you like that. Like, I be doing all that. I be like, and he be like, girl, please. Girl, please. You know you want me. And I feel, oh my God, y'all. <laughs> so, I can't stop smiling. I cannot stop laughing. 
that is how cool it is being like dealing with him like so serious and i really don't have to worry about nothing like he be opening my car door excuse me he be like no i'm gonna get that move out the way what, what are you doing he be quick to be like what are you doing I go, what you mean because i'm i'm so used to getting my own door open like i'm independent so i'm so used to doing stuff by myself and he be like girl girl what you, you must be crazy and i i be tripping i be tripping and then um yeah and it's just been it's been fun the and he's so he's He's so ghetto. He's ghetto with a little bit of bougie. But he only be acting like that because he know, like, I'd rather be extra than basic. So, it's kind of then rubbed off on him. But he's ghetto. And I'm, I'm liking it. And he's toxic. I'm liking it. <laughs> but no no red flags currently the well no i take that back the only red flag i have is him not knowing like what he wants he like he knows like he wants something long term but he doesn't know if he wants to like get married right now which is understandable because he's still trying to figure out his music career he's still trying to figure out his career all together and I told him, like, it's a, I told him, like, you need to hurry to freak up because you ain't going to be dealing with me and you don't know what you want to do. So you need to hurry up. Um, but at the same time, like, I do know, like, I need to give him some grace because I want to say he's a little bit younger than me. You know what? I think so. I can't remember. But I think he is a little bit younger than me. And... I also need to understand like where I came from because I remember like I didn't know what I wanted to do and still to this day like I still don't know like what I really want to do long term like I like I can say what I want to do long term but because I have not been in that scope of work I'm like dang do I really like do I really want to is that really what I want to do so I'm just what I'm doing right now I'm just it's just experience and I'm just adding to it because you know just getting exposure for the most part of what I'm currently doing so I, I know like I need to give him some grace when it comes to that because I'm like I'm gonna give him a little grace but I'm not gonna make excuses for him because I'm still on his behind about like you need to figure that stuff out like you work in a full-time job and a part-time job part-time job making time for me focusing on your music career not like you need to find another hustle but you know he already has a lot on his plate he doing music a lot he working his full-time job this part-time job he's still you know trying to figure out things and stuff like that so i'm he told me he's like girl you you don't let up do you like l like relax like and I be like, my bad. That's on me. Because I be, you know, I be on the go and I be so hard. That's why I'm like, I be like, I need to give him some grace. Because I remember when I was at a point in my life where I'm like, you know what? I don't even know what the heck I want to do. I don't even know. I, I remember saying, like, I wanted to be a freaking housewife. Because I didn't know what the heck I wanted to do. And I was like, man, I'd rather be a housewife and just let my husband figure it out. And now I do not want to be a housewife. I absolutely would drive myself crazy if I was a housewife. I would do it for a short period of time, but I could not do it long term. Like a full time. No, absolutely not. Um, So I'm doing, I'm trying to do a better job of like giving him some grace, but it's been really good. It's been fun. Um, yeah. It's different. It's different from my past and I am enjoying it. Now we do spend, we text a lot and I think we have, we have date nights like every other Friday or Saturday. So we have date nights like twice a month, but for the most part, we're just texting or on the phone. Um, 
it's so crazy. I didn't bring, I'm going to text him this today. Um, I want to say two or three years ago, he used to call me on his lunch break when he worked uh, at night. And we'd be like talking on the phone the entire time. And he would call me like almost every lunch break that he had at night. And this would be in the middle of the night. And my crazy butt would wake up out of my sleep and answer the phone because I wanted to talk to him. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, you know what? You remember when we used to do that? Why, why am I smiling so hard? Yeah, he kind of got a, I kind of got a soft spot for him. But at the same time, he knows, like, I'm still healing. He knows, like, I'm still, you know, trying to figure me out. And I appreciate him for, like, giving me the space when I need it. I appreciate it when, if I'm down, he finds a way to make me laugh. I appreciate, like, when he be like, we need to get out the house. Like, let's let's go somewhere. Like, when am I going to see you? Like, wh wh what's up? When am I going to see you type of ordeal? Like, and his favorite line is, when are you going to give me some sugar? I was like, oh my God. I was like, when I give you no sugar, I'd be quick to tell him, be like, you can go get that stuff from another woman. You don't need it from me. And he'd be like, girl, calm down. I want it from you. Don't be worried about no another female, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hey, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we will, it will be, we will be on zero and it will be 10 in two seconds <laughs> because i'd be like no nah, you ain't coming for me like we we about to go back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth <sighs> that man and i told him just recently like i got a soft spot for him and he was like girl i've been new that i've been new that blah 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 i like you too and blah 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 i was like well that's not good enough for me and then in the back of my mom, like, dang, why am I rushing this man? Like, we are finally, like, officially dating. And I'm trying to speed the process up. But I do know, like, I don't need to be worried about who else he's dealing with. Because he's going to be worried about who else I'm dealing with. Like, so I know, like, I need to fix that. Because it's like, that's none of my business. Because when I'm with you, it's only about me. And then you be talking about our future, too. So, why am I, why am I worried? But at the same time, you know how a woman is. They don't want to have this lingering thought that you doing somebody else like that too. Because then it'd be like, you know what? Cut me off. Take me out the list. Take me off the roster. Take me out the fold, pimp. Like, I don't want, I don't want no dealings. But at the same time, like, this is dating, and we're open. We're dating openly. You date multiple people at a time. You don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, But now, if we was exclusively dating, I would be on his behind, or we would not be talking at all. But, y'all, yeah. I want to play one of his songs, but I'm not going to do it. Because he be saying his name and his music, so I ain't going to do it. I was listening to it this morning when I went to a tropical smoothie. And I was like, I kid y'all not, y'all. I was in the car be like, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> I kid y'all not. And I took a screenshot of the song that I was listening to that he produced. And I was like, and he was like, he did the heart emoji or whatever. And I was like, why am I acting like this? Yeah, he got a soft spot, y'all. He didn't kind of, yeah. He doing good. The best one I've dated so far. He's doing good. But I did tell him, like, we ain't going to be dating for, like, six months. We ain't going to be doing that. Because you know if you want to be in a relationship with me. But we ain't even, we're not even there yet. We've only been dating for not even a month. So we got plenty of time to continue to figure each other out. And I'm not even asking him to know if he wants to be in a relationship with me right now. I'm not even, I'm not even asking that of him. 
because I'm I'm enjoying our connection is good. It's it's good and it's fun. And it's kind of making me to it's it also helps me to kind of relax. Like Taylor, stop being so stop acting like like you work in corporate America or you work in a corporate atmosphere. That does not mean that you have to take corporate home. So he really is helping me like to tune down several notches. And I like that. Okay, let me let me get off. Cause I, I'm doing too much laughing, smiling, giggling, like I feel like my whole face is red. <laughs> All right, y'all. I will catch you on the next video. Don't know what that video will be. It might be a vlog. It might be another dating experience. Who knows? But I will see y'all on the next video. Make sure y'all drop y'all comments. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Like, we are back. So get ready to to join this roller coaster with me. Because it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to have its ups. It's going to have its downs. But it's going to be fun. And you got to join it with me. You just got to. Bye, babes. Love y'all so much. Time.